Hello, Legion. This is Hadrian. Thank you for being here. Let's play some more of The Long Dark in our Wintermute series. Season one of Wintermute, in fact. Season one, episode one, to be even more precise. So, we are headed up here. We finally are able to harvest rose hips, so let me go ahead and grab those while I can. Weird thing happened at the end of the last episode where we harvested some rose hips, but then um, the game didn't appear to, like, actually let me do anything with them, so um, he said he's feeling better now. He didn't actually use the rose hips. He didn't actually craft the rose hip tea at all. Like, that was supposed to happen, and then it, it didn't happen. But I'm still going to get all the rose hips I can before I leave, like we talked about last episode. And then we're going to head up to that spot we tried and failed to climb. We're doing pretty well condition-wise. Get a few more sticks out of this deal. Now that we've got his coat on, things are better. Alright, let's go. I can sprint now. Nice. Alright, still can't get into that backpack. It's just a prop. Excellent. Alright, so there's that. We've harvested the rose hips, and now let's keep heading up here. There's more rose hips. Holy crap. I mean, I won't complain. There's plenty of them. Okay, nothing really to do there. Is that more? Yeah, that's more. Oh, no. Okay, I guess I'm climbing instead. <laughs> Ah, slightly clicked the wrong thing. And I'm pretty sure a branch just went through your shoulder, dude. Maybe not, though. All right, so there's that. Got lots of rose hips. That's not a stick. Thought it was a stick, but it's not a stick. Getting near the top. Pretty sure we should be climbing down. But I trust the game at the moment, because this is the only real direction that I can go. That's a big rosehip bush. Very nice. Looks like more debris up here. That's good. Oh, okay. He's trying to get up to the plane. That makes sense. Maybe he thinks Astrid is still in there. Okay, good. I know you do. But 
I did. The choice I made. I did it for us. You don't have to. Let's just not... No. Important that you hear this. There's things I need to Mackenzie, say. Mackenzie, not now. There's. Just let me tell you. Will, shut up for a second. Something's wrong. That is not good. What's going on? Power's gone. The whole electrical system looks fried. Shit. What's happening? No power means we're going down. Hold tight. Signs of Astrid around here somewhere. That was excellent. Oh my gosh. It's great to finally be experiencing the story behind this game we've been playing in early access for years. Ooh, chills. Okay. Um I'm not sure which of us looks worse. Poor girl. This isn't how things were supposed to end. Yeah, it's quite a it's quite a wreck. <laughs> my <laughs> my inner long dark player is like not enjoying the scenery because I, I need to keep moving like it's just my play style okay here's some stuff here we got some beef jerky looks like ah new textures snappy orange pop that's pretty cool all right some more reclaimed wood looks like some cloth here i'll take it and a crate big crate Frostbite risk. Frostbite and hypothermia risk, in fact. Down vest, good. Wool socks, reclaimed wood. I'm guessing those are frozen. Just a theory. Yeah, they're completely frozen. And the down vest is frozen too. Yep, 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 yep. All right, so I need to keep moving. Here's something. What do we have? Something of Astrid's, maybe? Run for your life. Walking through the snow with a heavy pack can get tiring, but sometimes you just have to run. Escape wildlife, avoid weak ice, or get shelter faster by sprinting. Keep in mind that sprinting uses up more calories than walking, and your sprint stamina is limited by how restrictive your clothing is. It takes you a little while to recover your sprint stamina, so use it wisely. Uh, I know it just told me to sprint, so I suppose I will, but I kind of want to not sprint. <laughs> I do have frostbite risk, though, so I mean, it, it makes sense to, to move quickly. All right, so here's another Astrid indicator. No vocal prompt this time. Hey, rabbits. Can I throw rocks at them? Stones. Aim true and you won't go hungry. You can pick up small stones and use them to stun rabbits. Equip them and throw them to hit a rabbit, then grab it while it's stunned. If you can kill it, you can eat it. Indeed. All right, so there's some stones nearby. And lots of rabbits. This is where everyone who's watched my recent Long Dark playthroughs, but not my story mode, but or everyone who hasn't watched my recent Long Dark playthroughs, but is watching story mode right now, finds out, oh, hello. Yeah, probably so. This is where you find out how much I suck at hitting rabbits. Oh, good. Here's some cattails. Let's get these. That's good. Additional food as well. Now let's find an actual bunny. I think there's probably more cattails in here. If I look right, yeah, there are. But I need to find a bunny first. Are they all hiding from There's one. I could have sworn there were plenty when I got here, and now they're all hiding from me. All right, let's crouch. Because when you're crouched, these things get super close to you. Yeah, see... There's been all kinds of feedback talking about this. Like, do you do you put the rabbit exactly between the two fingers? My initial instinct, which looked like it would have been better there when I first learned, was use like the middle knuckle of the thumb. But it also depends on the range and the, the, the just the distance of the throw. So that's the other issue. Here we go. Really? Are you serious? All right. We're going to keep trying this. Nope. Yeah, I, I really do feel like the knuckle approach that I originally advocated is better than the pinch approach. Sorry, guys. But my instincts 
look like they were a little bit closer than originally theorized. There's a rabbit right there. We are pretty cold, so we need to start a fire for sure. This is ridiculous. All right, see, if we throw here, the rock hits roughly at the top of the thumb, like just above that middle knuckle. So it makes sense to throw for like right there. See, almost hit him. Now he's moving to the left, so that was, of course, naturally going to happen. Oh, man. At least there's lots of them around. Come on, buddy. Fine. Oh my gosh, this is ridiculous. I'm at least gonna pick up cattails while I'm here. Get some food. I imagine we don't have to get the bunny, but everything else the game has told me to do so far, I've had to do in order to progress. So... That's why I'm insisting here. Gotcha, bastard. All right. All right, sorry, buddy. Ooh, all right. That's that. We're putting off a little bit of a stink now. Let's, uh, let's keep moving up this way. Let's get the rose hips. Also, it looks like there's some old man's beard there. Moss to prevent infection. Old man's beard lichen has long been appreciated for its antibacterial properties. First prepare it to be used for treatment, then apply to the injuries to reduce infection risk. We have so many rose hip buds, it's ridiculous. Or rose hips. Alright, up we go. I'm sure there were more cattails, but I'm not worried about it. Let's keep going. It took way too long to get those rabbits. Or sorry, the one rabbit. Okay. More crows, so I'm guessing this is a deer. Yep. Probably need to start a fire. Let's go ahead and do that. That way we can cook the rabbit as well. Put the fire here. Wood matches, and we'll use the... Um, yeah, we've, we've got plenty of fuel. That's good. Let's go ahead and use the book. We've got plenty of them, plus they're heavy, so it makes sense to get rid of at least one. Okay, so let's pile some wood onto this fire. And while that's cooling this carcass down, I need to go ahead and harvest this little guy. It's gonna take an hour and five minutes, but we have that time, thankfully. So let's do that. And that might actually pass all the time that I needed to pass. Nope, not quite, but we're, we're getting close. Let's go ahead and cook now, and that'll pass a little bit more time. Getting thirsty, so we're going to need to drink and eat. Frostbite risk has healed. Also, some of our clothing might have cooled off as well. That's good. All right, let's go ahead and eat this for the calories. And we're going to need to drink pretty rapidly after that. We still have the uh, cooked venison from before as well. And... Yeah, let's go ahead and drink the orange soda. Well, we should have done that before we drank the uh, water, but... All right, 14% frozen. That's good enough. Let's go ahead and get the meat here. The hide and the guts as well, maybe? Um, how much time do we have left on the fire? Hour 57 minutes. Let's add one more reclaimed wood. Go for the meat, the hide, and the guts. Let's harvest all that. All the things. There we go. And now it's time to cook. Ooh, the meat is not in good shape. 
And our clothes should definitely be ready to wear after this. I'd be shocked if they weren't. All right, that takes care of that. Eat. And, and then I guess I'll drink a little bit. There we go. Let's take a quick look at this. Yep, it's completely dry. And we're going to put that on outside of it. And then we're going to wear these wool socks. They're still wet a little bit. We can wear these on the outside. They're still drying off. Let's see, 17 minutes left. I'm just going to take a torch and keep on moving because we can't be here forever. I'm going to guess it's going to tell me to crouch now. Crouching! Get under stuff! Occasionally you'll encounter an obstacle in your path. Crouching might help get under it. Crouching also makes you less obvious to wildlife from a distance. You move more slowly, but also more silently, so you might get closer. As we just discovered with rabbits. Journal updated with knowledge. Interesting. So these are missions. Cool. People. Places. Things. Actions. Select. All right. Nice. Let's keep going. Doing pretty well on our condition meters. That fire really helped us warm back up and cool our clothing off and such. Okay, we've got a cave here. If this is an interior cave, it'll actually be an opportunity to get inside and really be warm for a bit. Or it's a bear cave and we're about to die. One of the two. Looks like it might be an interior cave. Meaning it's an actual area that we can explore, not just a, a nook and cranny as part of it. Oh, hang on. Let's get that. There we go. Not just a nook of the uh, game world, but like it takes you to a different area. Experienced Londar players know what I'm talking about. Let's see. Stick. 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 All right, there we go. Interior cave. Each light source has pros and cons. You may need to improvise light sources to see in the dark. You can craft torches out of available materials. Flares provide a one-time light source. Lanterns last longer, but use a boil. Darkness hides dangers and also prevents you from crafting, repairing your gear, and other actions. All right, so we've got a torch, but it's not going to last us a particularly long time. Oh, there's a bedroll. That's handy. So we've got this new torch as well. Let's search this corpse. Sorry, buddy. Got some wood matches, some fleece mittens, and a candy bar. Nice. Bed rolls. Resting heals you and saves your progress. Resting restores lost condition and helps you recover from afflictions. You can rest in beds you find as you explore the world. A bed roll allows you to rest whenever you like. Remember that resting up uses calories or uses up calories and the hours that pass make you hungry and thirsty. Resting also saves your game. I love how they added that emphasis twice. Resting saves for all the new players. Um, let's, yeah, let's go ahead and go for the granola bar. Let's enjoy that. I can use matches. I'm going to go ahead and just light this torch. Yeah, that's plenty bright. Well, let's just try and move through the cave as rapidly as we can to where we don't lose our light. And we can use the matches if we need to, but I prefer to just get through here in one fell swoop if we can, if it's not a complicated cave, which hopefully it won't be. Okay, I see some light there. That's good. Let's actually put the torch away since we can see. And another torch. Very good. How convenient. All right, this might be the same torch, but we have, since we have a couple, we might be okay. Let's actually look in here really quickly. I want to see. Yep, see? <laughs> Would have walked right past this. Pinnacle Peaches, Lost in the Storm. All right, there's a note there. Should have looked at that. Iron and fuel, sewing kit, and cloth. Good, we can repair some of our materials in a rudimentary sense. Let's go ahead and just stand right here while we look at some of this stuff. Extinguish the torch, and what do we got? Where's that note? It might be in my journal. I would imagine it is. 
collectibles. Note, a letter found on a discarded backpack in a cave. Examine. I left with the others, but the storm turned bad and I couldn't keep up. Some turned back to see if they could wait it out at the old church. I kept going, but I think I took a wrong turn. I'll backpack in the, or backtrack in the morning and see if I can find their trail. The letter is signed, Alice. That's two lines, four lines. Okay, never. <laughs> uh, Astrid's hard case. Yeah, so this is hers. She's going to want that at some point, assume, assuming we find her. Oh, I can examine it. Hang on. Hang on. Cool. So yeah, we don't know the combo though, so. And we might never find the combo. It might just be the purpose of this whole thing to get it back to her, but. All right, we've got a couple of ruin torches here, which we can drop. Let's do that. And then I do need to repair my gear. Oh, so I, oh, I need to put those on. Hang on, I haven't put those on my hands yet. Where? All right, now, first things first, let's repair the items on our body. that need the most help. Alright, so there's that. That's at 80%. We picked up plenty of cloth, so... Oh, we're losing daylight, though. It's gonna make it tough to finish repairing. That kinda sucks. Let's see if we can repair the pants before we run out of time. I think we should be able to, as long as there's any little hint of a sun on the dial. And then these mittens need to be repaired as well. Like, everything needs to be more fully repaired than this, but... All right, that's a start. Let's not... I don't want to waste any cloth, so let's not do any more. Light this thing back up. Now, where were we just now? In there? Yeah, we were. All right, so there's the torches we dropped. Let's keep moving. Uh, this torch is not going to last very long. Holy crap. Can't see a damn thing. All right, we've got another torch on us, so let's let's see if we can... Another thing we could do is just use matches. We have lots of them. I wish there was a way to cycle through the torches we have, but there's really not. It wants us to burn that one out first, so I'm just going to use a match here to finish looking around this space we just walked into. Yeah, this is where we just stepped in, and there was an exit on the other side somewhere. I see light up ahead, that's good. Could rest, of course. That's another option that I have. Yeah, that's the exit of the cave. So it might actually be a good, good idea to go ahead and rest. But we will not be able to rest for the entire night yet. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and eat this, this venison. Good that we found the pinnacle peaches, too. I love the new textures. That's awesome. Alright, drinking that. It's actually, this is not a texture. This is just a... Looks like this is just a sprite. But anyway, let's... Throw down the bedroll. We can finally pass time. Nice. Looks like the bedroll needs a little bit of repair, too. Let's sleep for... It's not going to let us sleep for this long. But let's go ahead and do it. This will recover some condition, as well as save the game. Well, it actually did let us sleep for that long. That's shocking. Uh... All right, well, in that case, hang on. Let's let's drink for a little bit, because you get dehydrated while you sleep. But let's drink, and then... Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. <laughs> We're not going to be able to sleep for that long, but let's see if we can get away with sleeping until it's daylight. Why is it letting us rest for so long? We're nearly fully rested. This is strange. Maybe the prompt works differently in this gameplay mode. That's interesting. I mean, I'm not going to complain. That's actually the way I prefer it. If you've watched a lot of my Long Dark content, you know I, I'm not necessarily a huge fan of the way the Woke Up Fully Rested system currently works. So maybe that's just in story mode, or maybe it's in Sandbox too. I'll be excited if it is. But it um, wouldn't necessarily make sense if it was in Sandbox as well. All right, well, let's step outside and see what we find here. And then we are approaching the 25-minute mark, so we're going to use this as a potential stopping point once we see where we are. There's a wolf. Yeah, we're going to step inside here so as to avoid a treacherous death. Well, we'll be fine, but uh, I have a feeling the game's about to walk us through a wolf tutorial, but we will save that for the beginning of the next one, episode three. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to follow along. New episodes are coming out every day at 3 p.m. Eastern time. Comments are always welcome. Let me know what you think, and I'll see you next time.